Hi, I'm Soledad O'Brien, and I'm here at Asia Society to talk about a new and important way to prepare our children for success in a global age. As a journalist, I've reported on the most pressing issues of our time, the global economy, peace and conflict, the environment, matters of worldwide impact that directly affect you and me. Well, these days, the world's getting smaller. Everyone's connected. With the click of a mouse, a brilliant idea can circle the globe in seconds. But our current educational system is just not keeping up with the pace of change. We need to modernize how children learn in the 21st century. This is where after school and summer programs can play a vital role in expanding kids' horizons, opening doors from their neighborhoods to the world. A new millennium, an era of sweeping change, intricately connected economies. Corporations today, whether they're in America or elsewhere, all work internationally. Learning about other cultures is essentially going to be part of our students' competitive advantage. Increasingly diverse societies, technological advances connecting our planet as never before. More and more things are going to be made in 24-7 global supply chains. And therefore, you've got to be able to collaborate with people in different time zones, across languages, and across cultures. It's a time of great challenge and opportunity. Our young people are going to have to be able to negotiate throughout the world. And that's the bottom line. Thanks to technology, thanks to the internet, all children now are children of the globe, not just children of the neighborhoods where they live. With the yes, world at their doorstep, young people can now learn about it in new ways. And but is our current educational system ready to help them become globally literate? From an economic standpoint, there's no question in my mind that the education level, skill level, uh, sensitivity around international issues needs to raise way up. There is a real feeling in the educational community that schools have been so stagnant in the way they think about educating this generation of young people. We need to look at the school day very differently and the school year very differently. Policymakers now understand we need to add more time for learning for kids. And that is after school, weekends, summer. And we need to do it in ways that are engaging. What we don't want to do is more same old, same old. This is what we're calling a new day for learning parents and teachers and community members are sitting at the table from the outset determining what sort of outcomes do we want for kids in our community. After school has been called the new neighborhood. It provides an opportunity to extend learning that's gone on throughout the day, but it's a different kind of learning. Language, geography, math, and science, all of the disciplines taught during the regular school day can be given a global perspective. The additional aspiration and often achievement of after school is that it's not simply cognitive learning that these programs are striving for. They're really trying to help kids develop what many people call 21st century skills. This is going to work. We okay. really need to cooperate. The capacity to work effectively with others, okay. to be creative. And I also think not just to manage diversity and difference, but to benefit from diversity and difference. Everyone coming together, no matter what your race is, helps you to learn people better to be a, like, to be a people's person. <laughs> the impact of globalization is increasingly evident right in our own backyards. I got from Honduras. Honduras. Many school settings today and so many communities represent 30 different cultures. And those cultures each bring their story. I have friends that they're from Asia, North America, South America, Europe, and Africa. A new abundance of diverse cultures in our neighborhoods mirrors the diversity of the world and offers a great starting point for students to learn about other people and other places. This gives us the choice to break down the cultural barriers. We can willingly bring our world closer together if we know more about it. The 21st century is a time of unprecedented opportunity. Imagine a world where all young people grow up ready and able to succeed in their careers and as productive citizens, 
not only in our own country, but on the global stage. From Asia Society, I'm Soledad O'Brien.